She was the belle of the ball. Over that shoulder, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slaying it in black and white Ralph Lauren at this year's Met Gala. It's always fun. You get dressed up. It's like being Cinderella for a night, you know, and you go to the ball. The next day, you got to get up and work and do yeah. all the face and, and turn And then you out. go, you're Cinderella again. But now, Jennifer is looking ripped and ready for a fight. Keep her safe. If there's trouble, let me know. J-Lo is in fierce mama bear mode, starring alongside newcomer Lucy Paez in her new killer role as an assassin that's trying to save the daughter she had to leave earlier in life from ruthless criminals in The Mother. <laughs> Premiering May 12th on Netflix. We have a, a great little movie, and uh, I'm excited about it. It's actually not little, it's a big action it's movie. It's so big, I was going to say, it's cute. It's little big. cutesy it's little amazing. movie. Yeah. We've seen you in action movies before, but never something like this. How much training did you do? Your body looks incredible. You know, I had to train. I was working out every day. I knew that she was going to have a very muscular physique. I wanted her to be lean. I wanted her to be somebody who was like out in the living by herself and kind of keeping herself sane um, by, uh, by, by, by working out, by having a physical life, by going out and getting her food. Like there was a, just a whole mindset and mentality that this character had. And then I had to learn the fight sequences and the choreography for the big fights and um, learn how to use the knife and learn how to do the rifle and the sniper stuff. In position. It was challenging, but it was fun. It was physical, and it was great to be able to do that and have a role like this at this time in my career. Being a dancer, did that yeah, help? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, being a dancer always helps with everything, I think, you know, especially anything physical or anything with timing, even comedy. Being a dancer helps with comedy. Being a dancer helps with, you know, fight sequences. Being a dancer helps with everything I, I can think of. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the back. Singer, dancer, actress. You know a world famous superstar. When you found out you were going to be working with the Jennifer, the Jennifer Lopez, <laughs> what was your initial reaction? It was so surreal to me. I remember the audition. It was, she was so powerful and, you know, <laughs> tell me a lot. And then you've got the elements, the snow, the hot, the snow. How was it like the snowmobile and just filming? Out filming there? in the snow. I yeah. mean, everything was so real. And I mean, the snow, the landscapes, the, you know, the fighting, like it was great. I love the cold. I I loved it. It felt like a Christmas village. I was living my best life out there. Jennifer sitting there going, Christmas village? <laughs> it was a, I even put like Christmas music to pump everybody up because I'm like great. Did that get you ready when you had to go out there? You know, the Lucy village. reminded me every day because I, I feel so grateful to do what I do, and I think I've, I, I've said that many times, and I really like try to live from a place of gratitude all the time. But when you're working a lot and you get tired when you have somebody like Lucy on the set it taught me like don't forget what it was like when you went on your first set and you had your first big movie and how incredibly grateful and how incredibly happy that that feels and don't let the kind of routine of doing so many for so many years and being having that privilege um, become like make you jaded in any way, you know, or make you f not remember like how lucky you are. Jennifer Ben, right in the front. Married to Ben Affleck for almost a year now, co-parenting his three kids and her too. You're a mom. Yes, I am. You've got twins, Max yeah. and Emmy, 15 years old. Was it easy for you to tap into that mama bear mode? Yeah, I mean, I think instinctually we all have that that thing where we want to protect our kids at all costs and we don't ever want anything to happen to them. And this character is so, you know, kind of takes that to the, the highest levels in the sense that she has to give up her kid to save her and then has to go back because she's in danger to protect her and use her specific set of skills to um, make sure that she is safe and teach her how to survive. Can you believe your coconuts are 15? No, it's really hard. <laughs> and it was funny, they're the same age as Lucy really? when I was filming yeah. the, I'm 14. The, so 14 but, and 15, yeah, I'm 14. but they were, you know, 12 and 13 at that time yeah. when we were filming the movie or 12 and a half and 13 and a half or something like that. And it was, you know, it was it was 
interesting because Lucy's character, Zoe, really winds up challenging the mother in a lot of ways because she is kind of teenagery. Makes and, everything real. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, in my own life, it was the same thing. My kids were at that age where they were, like, challenging the status quo and really, you know, kind of looking at you. And now it's not all, like, hearts and flowers anymore. Now it's kind of like, you know, wh why are you telling me to do that? I don't want to do that, you know, just, like, constantly kind of the push and pull of being a teenage mom. Is that Max or Emmy? Who's the most challenging? Uh, both of them. Yeah. Both of them are. Yeah, because they're both really smart. They're both really loving and beautiful kids, but they're also coming into their own and figuring themselves out and looking at their life and seeing what they love about it, seeing what they don't like about it. And, you know, and it's all you with them and, and they everything about their life has to do with you. And so it's challenging. It's those teenage years that everybody talks about that they tell you about your whole life, that your mother still complains about about me. You know, you're when you were a teenager, you know, I was like, See, I and she's you. right. And like everybody else, Jennifer's keeping her In Living Color co-star Jamie Foxx in her thoughts and prayers. I know you've known him for years. You go yeah. way back. Everybody's yeah. praying for him. Yeah, absolutely. I want him to have a quick and speedy recovery. Yeah.